the fashion, fashion police, police need, need you. you. Yes, they do. We're in the lovely fashion police headquarters. This is the delectable Sergeant Sherlock. This is Commissioner Christophe. Now, the two clothes have been promoted and they'll be moving on soon. So we need two new recruits. Yes, this is your big opportunity to be a star of Bebo and we're looking for two brand new presenters. So if you love fashion, hair and makeup and you think you can lead the fashion police patrol, then what are you waiting for? You could be our presenter. All you have to do is put together your own very short video. Now you can either make over a friend or a relative or just simply tell us why you think we should choose you. Whatever you think will persuade us that you're the right person for this job. Then send the video to us, you can upload it on Bebo. We'll select the finalists to come and join us here at Fashion Police Headquarters for the final showdown. It's exciting stuff. It is indeed, so check out our Bebo profile for all the details. Make sure you read all the rules and you can also check out mybliss.co.uk because this could really be your big break. Right, let's go on with the show. Hello, are we here to see the fashion police? Hi, yes, we've been expecting you two. If you'd like to make your way up to level five. Hello, how are you? Amy, Claire, nice to meet you. Come and join us. Now, what can I do for you? I'm hoping you can help me. Okay. Please. I just want to go out, don't really. Right. Turn. So this is a day outfit, yeah. and you'd like help with an evening outfit. So have you got anything big plans coming up with him or anything? Um, no, 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 but it's my birthday soon. It's your, of course it is, it's your yeah. birthday soon. How old are you going to be? 19. Okay, that's what we're dressing you for. What kind of things do you normally wear when you go out? It varies really. I've got only a couple of dresses, okay. maybe shorts. I've got a few shirts. That I wear. Well, I've only got one black dress. Okay, black so dress. I get the impression, I might be wrong, but I get the impression that you might play it a bit safe. And this shows about experimenting and having a bit of fun. Yeah. I think, because I'm quite slim as well, so I try to kind of add curves where I can. It's yeah. a bit more womanly. Yeah. So I don't like to wear things that are just kind of all in one. So I think maybe today, maybe we should get something, even if it's like a skirt and a top, just to kind of break you up so that you give that illusion of curves, yeah? yeah? I think we we'll should just go for something quite pretty and shimmery, really. So yeah, well, I'll use some colours to bring out her green eyes. Maybe we could put the hair up or something, mm. see how that looks. So I'm going to leave you with Amy. I'm going to get myself down to the old Primark and get a gorgeous outfit for your birthday. All right, so I'll see you then. Off you go. Bye! Um, Jodie Marsh. Jodie Marsh makes me feel sick. <laughs> uh, I don't like Kate Moss, which I know is, you know, very controversial because everyone loves Kate Moss, but she's 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 skinny and she has a weird face. She's when she wore that, looker. when she wore that belt over her boot. Yeah. You look at Pete Doherty and he looks just like an idiot. He's just got the one image though. It's, just, <laughs> yeah. it's the hat. It's the hat and, and the tie. Yeah, tie. exactly. Maybe Why? Dirty. <laughs> she looks like she needs a that good scrub. Yeah, I mean, I know dental. she has problems, but come on. Don't forget, get your applications coming on in. Oh, yeah. The style we're going for today is quite dreamy, soft, nice colours that will really complement her face and her eyes. These kind of soft colours here, lilacs and golds. I'm going to use this black eyeliner to smudge a little bit of darkness into the outside. Nice and soft again. Mascara, okay. Always do your bottom lashes first, and then it doesn't smudge when you're putting the top ones on. So now I'm going to use some bronzer just to warm up the face. We just put bronzer on the places where the sun hits you. We focused a lot on the eyes today, so I'm just going to use a clear lip gloss on her lips, and she's got a really nice natural colour of her lips anyway. I'm not actually going to do much different to the hair, I'm just going to put it into a nice high ponytail because she's got a lovely fringe which really suits her, and put back in this lovely red hairband, which is really nice. Okay, you see you're done. Now you're going to meet Claire for your clothes. Okay. Is she? You're right. Hi. All done then. Oh, we've kept the hair back. I know, it's so cute. I really like it, so we've kept it in. I'm glad you've kept that in, actually, because, oh, well, you'll see. You'll see. Oh, come great. with me, come with me. We're ready to go. Are you excited? Time for change. <laughs> this is the gorgeous day, Queen. Woohoo! She's very excited. She's like, come with me, come with me. Come on, come on. 
we were just actually talking about the fact that if you took the belt off and the shoes and lost the necklace, then actually what you've got is just a skirt and a black shirt. But putting all these bits and pieces um, with this outfit just makes it something else. And I think, you know, for your birthday that's coming up, your 19th birthday, this is such a great outfit. You can dress it down, you can dress it up. You can see nice frills on the shirt. Teams with a beautiful necklace. Now you could layer, you could put, we spoke about putting more necklaces on, you could put more black necklaces on with this. So she's all done and ready to go for her birthday party next week. Leave it all to do. There's far too much to push you away. And remember, we need you, we need you, we need you as a new recruit. The fashionpolice.tv, check it out.